My older brother actually started fighting first. He was um, this, he started here training, and then I was a little mischief little kid, you know. I got into trouble, so they put me here uh, to as a punishment, yeah, so I could get better. And um, as I started doing it, you know, for the first couple of months, I was I was young. I was 12 years old, 11 and a half, 12, and I was just running around the gym playing with the other little kids uh, around my same age. But as time went by, I seen how my older brother got his license, he started fighting, and then I wanted, I wanted to do the same. Little by little, I just I grew a love for the sport. My parents couldn't, couldn't keep me out. So all I wanted to do was come to the gym. And if, they, and if I wanted to be here at the gym, I had to be good out there, do good in school do good on the street and everything and I did everything I could so I could come to the gym. Yeah, it was my first uh, national tournament. It was uh, Colorado Springs. Um, I don't remember, I do remember the fight actually, you know, I just, he was a tough fighter. And I gave it my all. I did end up hurting my, you know, when the first one I hurt in my left, I mean my right wrist. And I ended up fighting the last two rounds with just left handed. Um, and after the fight, you know, I lost. But my coach came over to me and uh, he told me it was, a, it was a close fight. I was, you know, sad about it. I, I don't like losing. And he came up to me and just like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And I'm like, why is he saying that? And he's just like, he tells me, like, do you know who you just fought? And I'm like, no. And at that time, the guy who was, uh, who had I fought, he, he was not ranked number one in the USA at that time. And I was like, oh, like, I didn't even know. But now I knew why he was telling me it's okay, you know, you did good. But that was my first national experience. Uh, I learned from it as well. Even though I've only had one fight, I was able to stay there for the rest of the week where I could see all these fighters. And it was just another level from fighting to a local fight, you know, or to the city right next to each other, going all the way to a different state where you're fighting the best of the whole country, you know, of every state. That's, it gets a little nerve wracking. <laughs> I've been around boxing for so long, like I'm, I just, I see people get ready for fights and get in. I don't know what they feel, I'm pretty sure they feel nervous and all that kind of stuff, but in some people you can see it and some people you don't. I, I do get nervous until, when I'm in a lot of my fights, I'm not going to lie, but as soon as I land or I get hit with that first punch, all those nerves go away. And a lot of has a lot of it has to do with your and your mind. Your mind your mind plays tricks with you. So you just try to at least I do. As soon as I, I get in the ring, first punch or land it or I get hit, those nerves go away and I'm I'm glad they don't take over at at that time. And, and it did help me. I mean it, I thank a lot for this gym, for this facility because it's always supported me. As long as my school work, you know, like whenever I get, get in trouble with school or stop going to school, missing school, like doing high school, the gym found out. And at least my coach, you know, he would like, he would ask me, why, why are you missing school, this and that? And I'm like, you know what, I don't have a ride to school. He's like, well, you don't have a ride? Well, call me, call me, you know, I'll give you a ride. I'll get somebody to pick you up and take you to school, but you don't need to be missing school. And, you know, he pushed me through it. I was about to just drop school in my last year and he just kept pushing me. He gave me rides to the school to the yeah to the school and I started uh, doing my work and I graduated a little bit later than I was supposed to but what mattered was that I made it through high school and still got my diploma.